Good morning, everyone. Um, let's go ahead and get started, and um, please take a seat. We're very pleased to welcome you here um, for a great celebration. My name is Mike Graney. I'm the Executive Director of the Development Office. I also have the privilege of being um, the Chairman of the West Virginia Economic Development Authority. Um, it's been fascinating and really important work over the past couple of years when I come up to celebrate my second anniversary on the job. Um, you know, the U.S. DA has funded the revolving loan fund at the West Virginia Economic Development Authority, and there'll be more to follow about that, but I'd like to just take a couple of moments and talk about how important US EDA is in stimulating the economy in West Virginia. Over the past several decades, millions and millions of dollars have been invested into the West Virginia economy through the EDA. We have an incredible working relationship, in particular with rock star Tracy Rowan, who is our, uh, our um, resident expert and has been incredibly supportive and very passionate about working with West Virginia. Often, we're developing sustainable economic development projects that we partner with. And frankly, these federal grants often are the last necessary piece to make these projects feasible. So without this US EDA money, we really wouldn't be able to get it done. So trust me, it's incredibly important. Over the years, it's created thousands of jobs and a great deal of private investment in West Virginia. Recent examples of our partnership with the EDA include the Benedictum Aerospace Expansion Project, uh, the Randolph County Economic Development Authority with the AMF Flooring Expansion, and the BDC of the Northern Panhandle and the Beach Bottom Facility Upgrade. I'd like to take the opportunity now to introduce um, Joel Frushen with uh, the U.S. Department of Commerce. But before I do, I do want to recognize a couple of the folks from the West Virginia Economic Development Authority, Steve Webb and Karen Wilshire, who really are fantastic members of a great staff who do great work for the West Virginia Development Authority. In May uh, 2019, Joel, Joel Frushen was appointed to the U.S. Department of Commerce Economic Development Administration, the EDA, to serve as Director of the Office of External Affairs and Communications. At EDA, he manages the Public Affairs Department and the Legislative and Intergovernmental Affairs Department and leads its Opportunity Zone work. That's a lot of words to put on one business card, Joel. <laughs> so congratulations. Joel was the Associate Director for External Affairs at the Peace Corps from October 2017 to May 2019. As the founder and CEO of Crescent Consultants, an international strategic relations firm that specialized in communication strategies and government relations in Africa, Joel worked closely with foreign governments, public and private enterprises, foundations, development agencies, the United Nations agencies, NGOs, and others across the African continent from 2007 to 2016. Thank you for that work, Joel. Joel began his professional career in 1990 as a legislative assistant for Congressman Tom Ridge and worked as his personal assistant when Mr. Ridge was first elected governor of Pennsylvania in 1994. So with that, um, Joel, please uh, take the podium. And Governor, thank you very much for taking time to be here. Incredible important for you to be here. Thank you. Well, Mike, thank you for that kind introduction. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, it's wonderful to be back in, in West Virginia. Governor Justice, uh, to say it's an honor to be working with you today falls short uh, of what that means. Uh, we are so appreciative of the work you do in West Virginia. Uh, day in and day out. So thank you very much. Thank you for hosting us on these beautiful capital grounds. I'm going to speak as fast as I can and usually faster than I, I do because I, I'm real eager to hear what you have to say, sir. So let me start with some acknowledgments. Uh, I'd like to thank and recognize Mike, uh, Stephen Webb, where's Stephen, uh, and, and Karen and the rest of the West Virginia Economic Development Authority team. Uh, thank you for all the work that you have done to, to get us to this moment. We're really appreciative of that. Ryan Thorne, where's Ryan? Ryan with Senator Manchin's office. Aaron Spork with Senator Capito's office. Uh, thank you for being with us today. Uh, we thank both of your bosses, Senator Manchin and Capito, for all they do in Washington, D.C. And we were here with them a, a few weeks ago. Uh, and they are big EDA fans, and, and we're thrilled that um, you're here today as well. 
We also have Patrick, Patrick Basie. Where's Patrick? Hey, Patrick, uh, from Congressman Miller's office, and Susan Acevedo from Congresswoman uh, Mooney's office. Thank you for joining us. EDA very much appreciates the support from the West Virginia delegation and all you do uh, here in, in the state and in, in Washington uh, to support locally developed economic development strategies for the state. Last and certainly not least, uh, my Department of Commerce colleagues, Tracy Rowan, Mike, you said it right, she's a rock star. Uh, to many of you that know her, uh, she is uh, EDA's economic development representative for West Virginia. If you don't know her, get to know her. Uh, she is um, responsible for bringing us to this moment today as well, and for so many other great uh, EDA-supported projects across this wonderful state. Clay Tufts, uh, he's my colleague. He's EDA's senior advisor, and he works with me day in and day out at headquarters in Washington, D.C. He tells me to turn left, right, and I absolutely do it. Um, Clay and, and I have crisscrossed the country uh, for EDA, and I can't thank him enough for his guidance and support. We passed Morgantown on the way here. I mentioned this because Clay is an LSU alumni, so if anybody wants to talk football afterwards, uh, be my guest. So we're honored to be here representing the Trump administration. I wanted to take a moment to share greetings from my boss, U.S. Secretary of Commerce Wilbur Ross. I want to reiterate his commitment to ensuring communities affected by COVID-19 here in West Virginia and across the country receive the federal resources needed to speed your recovery and ignite and reignite our economy's nation, uh, our nation's economy, excuse me. So now to why we are here. We're here today because small businesses are the lifeblood of our communities and President Trump is working diligently every day to ensure they have the access to capital to respond to and recover from the coronavirus pandemic. Critically, the CARES Act, which President Trump signed into law in March, provided the Department of Commerce, I'm sorry, Depart provided the Commerce Department's Economic Development Administration with $1.5 billion to help communities across the country prevent, prepare for, and respond to coronavirus. So proudly, on behalf of President Trump and Commerce Secretary Ross, I'm pleased to announce today that EDA is awarding $10.3 million in CARES Act recovery assistance to the West Virginia Economic Development Authority. Yes, a round of applause. WVE, WVEDA will use these funds to capitalize and administer a revolving loan fund that will provide critical capital financing to small businesses and entrepreneurs adversely affected by the coronavirus across West Virginia. And again, this deserves another round of applause for sure. These loans will provide small businesses in West Virginia with the necessary capital to, capital to rebound from the coronavirus pandemic and in turn create a stronger and more resilient state economy for the future. Critically, these funds come at a crucial time to help West Virginia and our nation's economy come roaring back and provide hardworking West Virginians and Americans with new opportunities. I believe there's already a great statewide demand for these funds and we know WVEDA uh, will be busy in, in the days and the weeks to come. Uh, so we're, we're proud of this and um, great to have these critical funds in your hand and we look forward to seeing what you're going to do with them. The funding comes on top of more than $9 million in EDA CARES Act recovery assistance grants that we've made to West Virginia to date. And these funds are capitalizing and administering additional revolving loan funds. They're supporting our economic development districts across the state and boosting technical assistance at Marshall University, which is an EDA university center. Before I conclude, Secretary Ross would like me to remind you how essential it is for everyone in West Virginia to fill out your census surveys. If you haven't already, no need to raise your hand and incriminate yourself. Uh, there's still time to do this. More than 140 million households have been counted in the 2020 decensal census so far, and I hope those of you who haven't yet join them by responding today at 2020census.gov. It's safe, it's easy, and very important uh, because if you do, uh, if you don't, let's start with that, 
uh, West Virginia is not going to get an accurate count and you're not going to get your fair share of the allocations of hundreds of billions of dollars in federal funds over the next decade. And this includes the grant that uh, you're receiving today. So that's the end of my PSA. Uh, I just want to conclude on behalf of President Trump, Governor Justice, and Commerce Secretary Ross. We wish the uh, West Virginia Economic Development Authority uh, best of luck with your project. We're proud of our work uh, with you and the Mountain State. We're equally proud of your work. This and previous EDA CARES Act grants, along with assistance from the state, are making you stronger and better positioning you to face down and overcome the challenges brought about by this coronavirus pandemic and whatever the future may hold. So again, congratulations. I wish you the best luck moving forward. And thank you, and I, Governor, I, I hope I spoke fast enough there, and I'm going to get off stage now and give it to you. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Joel, thank you very much. We very much appreciate this, this grant, and we very much appreciate the, the work that you're doing across the country. Um, so I have a two-and-a-half-page bio here that I can read to introduce the governor, but we all know the governor. We're proud of his work. We're very appreciative that he's here. Governor, over to you. Okay. You see, I'm just going to sit right here and talk to you. Can you all hear me? We're good? Okay. Thanks so much for all, Joel, Clay, Mike, Tracy, Stephen, Karen, thank y'all. Thank everybody for everything that everyone is doing. All these wonderful representatives that are here, all those that are on my team. You see, at the end of the day, West Virginia every day, and I don't know why, but, you know, but West Virginia, I don't know why, I mean that, I'm developing some little allergy. I've never had an allergy in my life. But, uh, you know, West Virginia has now become a diamond in the rough that everybody's missed. West Virginia's economy is roaring. I mean, that's all there is to it. You know, along the way, EDA, U.S. EDA stepped up. You know, West Virginia EDA stepped up. And we have absolutely been fueling and helping our small businesses, and absolutely it's working. Now, there's no question, there's no question that really that President Trump knows, you know, Secretary Ross knows, everyone knows that at the end of the day, whether it be our great senators or our great congressmen or congresswoman, you know, it is, we all know that small business fuels and runs this nation. We get that. Everybody gets that. The whole $64 question, though, is just because we get it, we got to do something about it. And now this nation has taken a cannonball right to the stomach with this pandemic. And what did you see? You saw decision making. You saw leadership. You saw people step forward and say, by God, we're not going to let this destroy us. We're not going to let this beat us. And we're going to step forward and we're going to beat it. We're going to win. And at the end of the day, you know, that kind of summarizes everything from my standpoint. You see, I truly love West Virginia beyond good sense. But I love our nation just as well. And I absolutely love the leadership that is going on with all of our great leaders as they're making decisions and helping us. Today, $10.3 million to use in a revolving loan program that really helps all of our businesses have opportunity as we go forward. But it really is only a fraction of what has already come and what has come in the last three years exceeds, really exceeds $55 million, I believe. Now, I commend naturally the people that are right around me, whether it be Secretary Gaunch, you know, it be our EDA guru that's sitting right in front of you, Mike Graney, but I really, I can never thank you enough. I really mean this, Joel and Clay. I can never, ever thank you enough because West Virginia has so much goodness to give in so many ways. I mean, you know, not only are we 
becoming that diamond in the rough that I referred to, but where could there possibly be a place that's located within the arm's throw of two-thirds of the population of the country that abounds in natural resources like crazy, four of the most beautiful seasons on the planet, absolutely the very best, the most creative, loving, faith-based, good, good people that know the difference between right and wrong. Where could there be a place that is just that good that has that much opportunity. So with all that being said, we can't get there without your help and assistance. There's no way. We've all got to be able to pull the rope together. And, and I, I mean, you know, I don't speak from any notes. I'm just speaking from the bottom of my heart and telling you just as straight up as it can be, the one trait that West Virginians has have that I really don't see that much throughout our nation is we have the ability to really truly appreciate and I mean it you know West Virginians love and a lot of people are good and innovative and craftsmen and all that stuff but West Virginians truly appreciate what others do for West Virginians and so from the bottom of my heart and for all West Virginians I say thank you and thank you in the greatest way.